Good afternoon, my dear Jay Warriors. Uh, unfortunately, I'm coming over here with a very bad news. In fact, uh, there is one more update which I want to tell you apart from the eligibility criteria that is your 75 percent board criteria so stay tuned till the end and if you have not yet subscribed to the channel the number one j english channel please do that right now and like this video so that this information reaches the masses and people become aware or else students are not aware of so many things and they just get carried on or get fooled around by many many rumors so this is an official update this is not a news article or anything if you open up the actual J Advanced website, by the way, this will be also applicable for J means I'll tell you why also. There is a news or there is a update announcement that the information brochure has been released and that has just happened today in the morning. Now, if you open up this particular link, it's a complete document of all the details of J Advance, the syllabus, the dates and everything. Everything is there. But the most critical thing, because there was a debate going on whether 75% criteria will be there, not there, because they are not mentioned. And I told you guys again and again that it will be there. And as you can see, the candidates must satisfy at least one of the following two criteria with physics, chemistry and mathematics as compulsory subject in 12th standard. They must have passed 12th standard or equivalent board examination with minimum of five subjects and secured 75% aggregate marks. This will be relaxed for SC, ST and PWD candidates and it will be 65% marks. Also, you should have passed the examination with a minimum of five subjects and category wise everything they have mentioned. Now, sometimes you do not get percentages in some boards. So, for them, they have told you should be in the top 20 percentile top 20 percentile of your board examination so this is very very important especially for droppers and even for freshers those who are hoping and getting fooled by many youtube rumors that there will be no criteria because they are not mentioned but i gave a proof many weeks back that listen they never mentioned it uh, you know just when the announcements come but it has always been there and there was no official update that it has been removed so Many people got fooled on to that. So the criteria is there, 75%. In a way, it is good because 75% in boards is not that difficult. Also, it filters out a lot of other kind of students who sometimes use a different approach to get into, you know, JE colleges. Maybe you have not got a good, uh, you know, uh, percentage in boards, but still somehow you are trying to use some kind of unfair means. It prevents partially at least those kind of candidates now this was the first update there is one more update i did not put it on the thumbnail or on the title now let me show you this i don't know how many of you are aware of this this particular news is very disheartening because iits have done this nonsense and it was not expected out of iits that they will be confused usually iits don't create confusion yes nta creates some kind of confusion at times yeah some problems happen here and there that's okay but usually j advanced iits they are very rare uh, you know that they get involved in any kind of controversies now remember three attempts were allowed three attempts were allowed in the first notification then iit rolled back the decision and they said no 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 only two attempts will be allowed now when we announced also on the channel oh three attempts are allowed because J advanced website says so so many students got excited and many students even took a drop from their college they dropped out of their college and they said we are going to prepare for J advance now just imagine what they went through they were so happy so excited they stopped studying for their college and probably they enrolled in some course or maybe started preparing on their own and suddenly they get to know no now only two attempts will be allowed so that's why 22 students from 12 different states have filed a case against the joint admission board regarding the number of attempts that how did you make it to three attempts suddenly and then again rolled it back to two because some of us have even dropped out of the college this was actually deciding you might as well not tell only that there will be three attempts from beginning it used to be two attempts so might as well kept it as two attempts why make it three and again roll it back to two so 
some of the freshers or first year droppers will be like sir this news does not bother me why are you even wasting my time guys it's not about whether it is relevant to you or not trust me this was for number of attempts tomorrow it can happen with 75% criteria suddenly they will say no criteria and again get back the criteria again tomorrow they might say listen you know what the pattern will be like this again they say no 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 the pattern will be like that oh no it will be two attempts it will be three attempts uh, instead of january it will be also in december and then in january and then in april so all these confusions should not happen they should have a clear mindset before making any information public on their website number 2 any critical things should be told long long before only if they wanted to make two to three attempts this should have been told right at the beginning of the year so the student starts preparing how can you expect in the month of november suddenly you tell three attempts are allowed do you expect a student mid year to suddenly start preparing for je just because more attempts are allowed and suddenly removing it in the month of november or december a student was preparing says that oh my god now i am no longer eligible so all these critical pieces of information should be made available long long time ago only if you support this if you believe in these two things please like this video and share it across to as many students as possible because you cannot be fickle minded you cannot keep changing the decisions because students lives matter students mental peace matters already there is so much of pressure boards drop partial drop 75% getting 99 percentile completing the syllabus revision mock test so already students go through a lot of things please 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 let's be very clear and that is the least thing that we expect out of all the you know test taking authorities be it nta be it nmc be it jab anyone so please keep students mental health under number 1 priority and if you have not yet started your preparation for j please let me know in the comments i will also pin the link for the crash course which is going on right now in english and yes you can complete all the high weightage topics remember you just need to attempt 10 questions per subject so totally 30 questions overall to get 120 marks and you are qualified for j advance already and you can improve your score in april attempt that's the simplest strategy which you can follow and complete all the chapters the links are there in the description box of this particular video as well as you are watching this yep the link is there in the description box j crash course in english it's available in all the three different versions the crash prime crash pro and crash pro plus this is the most affordable this one gives you you know you have the printed study material as well as the doubt solving even after the class and this one gives you a personal teacher who will be there with you always to guide you apart from the regular teachers so you can check out all the links are there in the description box you can click and join the crash course as soon as possible all right so that was the critical update so 75% uh, uh, criteria is there 65% for scst pwd candidates uh, five subjects mandatory also if you are giving improvement exam you need to give all those five things all together if your board does not give percentage then you need to be in the top 20 percentile and yes there is a case which is going on right now regarding the number of attempts but most likely nothing will change it will still remain as two attempts we have seen this again and again usually the decision comes in the favor of the admission body or the uh, test authority who is conducting that particular examination share this make sure everyone is aware of this news thank you for liking thank you for subscribing bye bye captain shreyas signing off